Now let's talk about our next formula, which is going to be our sum ifs. Okay. So what is my sum ifs? So see, last one was sum if. It is sum ifs. Sum ifs is same as sum if, but it lets you use multiple criteria. What it means is, in sum if we have selected based on the only one criteria, but in sum ifs you can select more than one criteria. So if you want to apply sum ifs, what you have to do is equals to sum ifs bracket open sum range comma criteria range one comma criteria one comma criteria range two comma criteria two and so on. You can define multiple criteria and it will work fine. Okay, let's see how it works. So your sum range refers to the range of cells that will be summed. Then your criteria range is the range from where you want to check the first condition and your criteria one is the value or condition which you want to find in criteria range one. Similar to this criteria range two will be the range from where you want to check the second condition and criteria two will be the value or condition which you want to find in criteria range two. Okay, now let's deep dive a little more on this and we can see your formula will look like something like this. Now your sum range is the value which you want to sum. Criteria range one is the first range to look for matches. Criteria one is your first criteria which you want to match. Criteria range two is the second range to look for in matches and your criteria two will be the criteria which you want to find out in the criteria range two. Let's see the practical implication of sum ifs formula. So we have again this table where we have given the name of employees, the season in which they have worked and the salary paid in each of the seasons. If we want to find out what is the total amount we have paid to Rachel for season three? What we have to do is just click is equals to some ifs, then press tab. Now it is asking for the sum range. So what is sum range? Sum range is the value which we want to sum. So this is the total salary column. I will select it. Then again, press comma criteria range one, which is my first criteria range. This is the name. So I'll select the criteria range one, then press comma. Then criteria one is the name of the person which I want to sum for. So it is here. I'll select it again. Press comma. Now, what is my second criteria? I wanted to get to know what is the total amount we have paid to Rachel for season three. So my second criteria should be the season. So I'll select the season range by selecting this column, then press comma then I have to select the criteria range two. So for which season I want to get to know her salary which is my season three. So I'll select season three close the bracket hit enter and you can see I have got the value one lakh forty nine thousand eight hundred dollar. Let's suppose I want to get the value for season two. What I'll do is just drag this formula and you can see in season two, we have paid total one lakh twenty seven thousand one hundred dollar to her. If you want to cross check if our formula is working fine or not, let's filter on her name. Then select the season you want to check for. So I'll select the season three. You can see in season three, we have paid her total one lakh forty nine thousand eight hundred, which is exactly the value we have calculated using the sum ifs formula okay let's suppose if you want to find out the salary of ross for season one what you will do just click is equals to sum ifs bracket open then sum range which is my this column comma criteria range which is my this column comma criteria one is my ross comma Criteria 2 range is my season and criteria 2 is my season 1 for Ross. I'll close the bracket, hit enter and I can see I have got the value of 2,14,000 rupees which we have paid to Ross in season 1. So this was our third formula which you should master. I will share the link of this Excel sheet in the description of this video. So if you want, you can practice yourself as well and check if you are getting the correct numbers or not.